What's up everyone, Sick Down here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to upload a video from your PlayStation 4 directly on to YouTube. Now normally with smaller clips, I tend to transfer it onto a flash drive and then connect it to my laptop and then upload it to YouTube that way. That way I can even edit it on my other program. But this is a larger clip and I can't transfer it to a flash drive or even upload it to the app. So I'm going to show you guys today how to upload it directly to YouTube. So first, under Media Gallery, you're going to move over to Albums. This basically puts everything in order based on the game. So all of WWE 2K23 is going to be under this folder. And today I'm going to be uploading Episode 1 of Spider-Man Remastered. So you're going to click into it here. And as you can see, Episode 1 is 44 minutes and 29 seconds. Episode 2 is 44 minutes and 46 seconds. So I'm going to be uploading the first one today. So to do this, everything that I looked up online, everyone says you go and you hit options. And then you go and edit in Share Factory Studio, which I've attempted. And first of all, to render the video, it does take a lot longer. And then to upload it, it also takes longer. A lot of people don't realize that there is this button here that says Share. And if you click it, wait for this to pop up here on the left. You can see it says YouTube, Twitter, or you can create a group and send that to somebody in messages. But since my YouTube is linked, I'm going to go ahead and hit X on my controller when it's highlighting YouTube. Next, it will come up here with basically the video uh, details. So it'll say a title. I'll edit that on my laptop later. Same as the description, the tags, and instead of privacy... Uh, instead of having it public right away, I'm going to have it unlisted because I'm going to schedule it to come out later. But I want to upload it now in time for it to be ready. And then you can see up here, you can actually choose this button here to upload more clips if you want to upload a few more. But we're just going to be uploading the one today. So I'm going to hit upload. And as you can see in the top right corner, it says it's added to the uploads and downloads. So if you hit the PlayStation controller, or the PlayStation button on the controller, you can go straight to downloads here. And you can see as of right now, it says about 40 hours to upload the 45 minute clip, but you can also go and check what you're downloading. And right now I have two games queued. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause those cause I'm not gonna be playing them anytime soon anyways. So I paused both, I have nothing else downloading. I'm gonna go back to uploads. And it's dropped it significantly, about an hour to two hours. And you see it's still dropping there. That clip is 5.8 gigabytes. So in about an hour, it will be uploaded. And I can go and edit everything on my laptop like I normally do. Add my custom thumbnail that I made and everything else. But this is way easier than going into ShareFactory, in my opinion. Unless you're editing in ShareFactory and using a lot of those customizations that are built into it. That's great, but this here, I liked it how it was. I edited, I trimmed it up just based on just editing it and not going into Share Factory, and then uploading this way I felt was way easier. You can also do this even if you did edit through Share Factory, you just render it, and then instead of going under the game, you'll go under Share Factory under the media gallery, and you'll select it that way and upload it this way. Right now it's literally 38 minutes left, which is awesome, so. In about 40 minutes or so, we will be checking this on the laptop and making sure everything went through. But as of right now, everything did. So even if you don't know and it didn't come up on the top right corner, you could just hit the PlayStation button and check the status by going down to here, downloads and uploads and checking it here. If you did this step and nothing comes up under uploads, then go and hit it again because something just didn't work right. So if you select the video, you hit upload, but nothing comes up under uploads here. That means it's not currently uploading and it didn't work. So just go ahead and try it again. But hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to upload videos directly from your PlayStation 5 straight to YouTube where you don't need a flash drive or anything else. See you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.